Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Friday on The Den. It's me, JD. Let's get it going. Right, so oh, I have this new iPhone XS Max. Love this phone. Beautiful. Shoots in 4K, super high frame rate, ultra smooth. It's fantastic. I had filmed this entirely amazing video introducing you to my pet snake. I got his tank ready. We baked the wood so that it was sanitized. We went outside. We had fun with my dog. We did all this stuff. Loaded it up on the computer. It was all good to go. Oh, I did a update on my computer. It was like, hey, you have another version. Um, not realizing that I recently upgraded to the newest version of Mac OS through beta and I did didn't have my time machine plugged in and I lost the whole video. So what was a like 20 minute super cool video of me setting up this whole entire tank is now gonna be me showing you the tank and introducing you to my pet snake because that's my life apparently right now. So let's get it going. This is his tank and it features these pins that sit along here and it locks it in place. And even if he got a little bit open, you'll notice it's tongue and groove. So there's no way that he can escape unless he miraculously grows opposable thumbs on his non-existent arms and legs and can get out. So I redid this entire tank today. Before it was just the half log, the water, a couple of the green leaves and his hide right there. And that was it. And I went through this whole video where I explained how I got all the wood ready and we went outside and I found these branches and I baked them in the oven. I baked wood uh, and got it, everything ready to go for him. And it's all gone. Whatever, I'm at peace. Um, so instead I get to show you basically what I did. Um, so before, like I said, it was really plain. It was just the half log, some of the green leaves, his water dish and that skull hide that he has. Uh, and now I have all of these branches I found outside. Um, I got some more fake leaves from the store. This is a humidity box, which basically it can make out of anything. If you have a snake, you probably know what that is. Um, and what is in there is uh, pieces of wood, leaves, grass, substrate, and a little bit of water that makes it really humid and it helps him shed. And other than that, all this substrate that you see is actually aspen and they need that because it doesn't smell as much and they have a really, really strong sense of smell. And like cedar and pine can be overwhelming. Plus, with um, Aspen, when he burrows down, it holds itself so he can bury little tunnels and they stay that way. This is actually just a Y-shaped um, PVC joint that I have buried um, so that he can go in and kind of crawl. And it gives him a lot of uh, stimulation. Um, snakes, while they're not the smartest animal in the world, they like enrichment. They love having things to go over that make it seem a lot like their regular environment. So he's probably in one of two places. Um, he's either under his water or he's in his skull. Earlier he was in there when I was setting up his tank. Corn snakes are a really common snake as a starter snake and um, they love to burrow. So he loves hiding all the time. Hence so many different hides in his tank. Um, so we can lift this and see if he's under here. I don't think he is. He is not, you can see where he actually sleeps under there. So he means he is in here. Oh, there he is. Oh, he popped right out. He was ready to come out anyway. Good boy. Okay, so he's tooling around. I am going to um, set up my camera and uh, and grab him so you I can introduce you to Jacob. Ready? Here he is. This is Jacob, the 10 and a half month old corn snake. He is super hyper right now. He is under the impression he's getting fed. Um, he is not. <laughs> His feeding day is tomorrow, although he's been really good. I might feed him tonight. Um, I won't put that in the video because it's kind of morbid. Um, not morbid, I mean, it's totally natural. Calm down. Um, he will get to be six feet long um, and about this thick, um, no jokes, I know you. Um, he'll get to be about my height actually in length. Um, and uh, um, for those who are not a, used to American imperial system, it's about 175 centimeters long. Um, right now he's just about, oh, he's about a foot and a half, just under um, two feet long. And um, he's 10, like I said, he's 10 months old. They get to be full grown about two years old. So he has a lot of growing to do right now. And I think he's gonna poop. I had to have this, the last time I had him out, he just flat out pooped on me, which was great. He's starting to calm down now. <laughs> he, um, at first when I got him, he was incredibly, um, Tense, um, super skittish, uh, nipped a lot at me. Um, but what's really nice about snakes is that once they 
are in a stable environment and they get to know um, their owner a bit. He he knows what I smell like when um, he knows when it's feeding time. He knows that I'll get his tank ready and I'll put in um, a frozen mouse for him. And he just winds around and he he uh, he chills really well. Um, oh, come on, buddy. Uh, <laughs> but um, but yeah, he uh, corn snakes are super common to have as a starter snake. Um, actually, very very common actually to have as a starter snake because they are so tame. Like I said, he will bite and he'll strike. He's trying to say hello. He loves the, the camera because he sees his reflection. So he's probably gonna come right up. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> um, uh, and he's got an incredible sense of smell. Um, he can see pretty well. He actually, he knows how to strike at the mice um, when they're in the tank after they're thawed out. Um, but but yeah, I, I know in my last video, I had mentioned that I got a snake and I was introducing it. I have turned 30 since the last video. That has been, um, it was a great time out with the guys um, on the rugby team. And yeah, so I just wanted to uh, kind of take a take a few moments to, to introduce my little man here. Um, and I know that he's a boy because he doesn't have, I mean, he has a penis somewhere in there. But on the tail, um, that's the vent is what they call it. Um, and Males typically have, it takes a little bit longer to taper, but they're, the end part after the vent is pretty long. Um, and that's because it houses where the penis is inside. Or it's called the hemi piece, because he's got technically two, kind of. I know, he's like got more penis than, we're not gonna go there right now. Um, but yeah, you can see even in the last um, couple of minutes, he's super calmed down uh, once I had him in my hands and he knew that he was safe. Uh, I had to chase him around the tank a little bit because he's getting used to all of his new stuff and he went ballistic in there. He loved it. Um, so yeah, so this is um, Jacob, Mr. Snack, otherwise known as. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing him grow, having him in future videos, uh, getting him out and about, and um, he's his tail's wrapping around my, my hand as he curls up. Um, and yeah, I hated reptiles prior to this they scared the living crap out of me and I just decided one day I'm like I want to get one because I love the idea of taking care of it and I would not have a second guess at this Haley hates him um he I brought him out the first time Haley's in the other room right now because she will have none of this um I brought him out and he snipped at her well not snipped he did like a like a quick bite like he's like I don't understand what like what is this giant mouse that I can't eat and uh she won't look at him now <laughs> they 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 did not get off to a good start. Oh, you're gonna fall. Um, you're gonna go up there. Um, so yeah, uh, he, like I said, he, um, he'll he get pretty big and um, I look forward to having him in many more videos to come. So let's go ahead and get him back in his tank so he can eat, otherwise I'm not gonna get this little boy to eat. Okay, so here's his tank and he loves his light. So he'll try to go to the top because he really wants to get to the light, but I will just put him down and he will, there he goes. Oh, and he's going under his water dish, actually. That is one of his tunnels that he takes, and he'll go under his water dish and chill there. Um, I can actually poke his tail, and he'll go flying under. Boop, and he's gone. I decided to fit this in, so the end of this video might not make sense because I decided to add this. I decided to feed him tonight. If you don't like the thought of seeing a snake eat, and it's a dead mouse, it's been dead, they are humanely killed and frozen, um, so it's not eating it live, but if you're really queasy about the thought of watching a snake eat a mouse, go ahead and skip ahead to this time, and then you can see the end of the video. So he's already really far down on this little on that thing, and he completely dislocates his jaw and fits it in, and this is a small mouse, so they come from pinky, um, furry, to small or a hopper, and then they go up to medium, large, adult, and then full size. Um, you can see he's kind of rattling his tail because I'm kind of bothering him right now, but um, yep, if you look, in a second, you'll see his tail kind of rattle because he does not want me here. Yep, there it is. Um, and that'll be gone in a matter of minutes. You'll have that thing down. Hey buddy, I'll leave you alone. So that is Jacob, my snake. I hope you enjoyed getting to see him a little bit. Really sorry that I was an idiot and restarted my computer on an update and lost all my information, but c'est la vie, that is the world we live in. I hope all of you have a fantastic week. I will see you next Friday on The Den. Um, au revoir.